uh, I decided to do the serve and serve return video um, because it's kind of the final um, kind of final videos in my in my series. Uh, I addressed the textbook part of playing uh, how to prepare for competition, adding more advanced shots, uh, specifically focusing on developing the forehand loop and de developing the backhand loop. And the serve and serve return is kind of a, a difficult video um, uh, to shoot. Why is the serve and serve return so hard to master? Uh, the first reason is uh, it happens. Um, it happens once in a point. It's the only shots that you can't duplicate. So it's it's one of the hardest shots to train. You know, you can train blocking or looping or footwork, um, but the serve is a one-time phenomenon in, in in the rally. And so is the serve return. So um, because you can't duplicate it, it doesn't get the same volume uh, as a loop or a block, you know, or just anything that's incorporating footwork and, and extended rally. So uh, it makes it harder to spend time trying to develop it. And, uh, you know, in my 21 years of coaching, it's not a lot of people that have learned how to develop that shot without having some professional training. So I wanted to kind of present uh, a way that you can create um, the proper training approach so that you get more volume, so that you have a better understanding of, of how to master, how to master serve and serve return. The serve and serve return is the number one error that, that players make is because there's so many different ways to serve. And there's so many different ways to serve return. If you look at the person that's trying to make a serve, they could get it on the table. And that serve actually may not even fit a purpose. And the same thing for return. A player will find their way to have the ball hit the table, but it may not be the proper way. So there's a lot of errors made with a person doing the sophisticated serve and not even understanding what's going to come back. Or a person just holding their racket out for what looks like a sophisticated serve and just hoping that it hits the table. So, so many errors um, happen because the person can realize they're having a problem with the serve or serve return, but they can't quite pinpoint it because they just didn't have enough time to focus on it. Because by the time you make a bad serve or serve return, you're scrambling to try to get into the point. So uh, this video kind of helps you not be so close to it and to kind of take a step back so that you can analyze it a little bit better because the goal is kind of to create the right structure for how your shots are laid out and what serves you should have gravitate to those areas where the shot is already developed. The reason I wanted to shoot a point of view because I think it's, it's a better educational tool um, as many of you know, uh, my cross training sport is cycling and I go out with my buddies and, and the newest thing in mountain bike and road bike now is having these point of view cameras where you have the cameras that actually show the action from your own perspective. And, and in table tennis, everything is done from a third person, which means there's a camera over the shoulder and you're playing and the person that's viewing gets their perspective, the perspective of the player and the perspective of the opponent. It's, it's harder to understand what's going on that way, especially with something like serve return that's so unique to being uh, first person. So for this video, you'll see the serve when it comes to you. You'll be able to see it in this box. You won't see it in the box that's coming over the shoulder. Uh, you, you'll see a portion of it, but the, the main educational part of identifying what spin they're putting on the ball is going to be the first person point of view and when the ball gets to you you're going to see the angle from your own perspective because a person can identify how to make a short push from a side spin underspin serve from third person but they're going to see it better if they're in the box when the ball 
outcome. So it's important to be able to create that perspective because where you're going to get the most benefit is being able to make the micro adjustments to your server term because that's all this is. And being able to see it from this perspective to say, this is what it should look like when I see size spin, underspin, and this is the server turn angle I should have with my racket, and this is the part of the table I should be pointing the ball to. That's a much more functional way for you to get more out of looking at it from the perspective that you actually are going to see. What would a person get out of these videos if they purchase it? Listen. I, I made these videos because I wanted the person to have a true understanding of the serve and serve return dynamic uh, in, in table tennis. Uh, the reason that I got into coaching is because I realized I could help people over that, over that frustration that they would have. People that have come to me over the last 21 years, they don't come to me because they already know. They come to me because they're having a problem, like a patient goes to a doctor, they're, they're sick. This person happens to be sick with footwork or sick with timing you know, sick with serve return. So I realized that I could help people get over that. And, and my hidden agenda is for them to come out and play more because they're spending less time being frustrated over the reason that they haven't improved. So if I can kind of help them knock down those barriers, that would kind of be my contribution back to the sport is that I'm making it better for people to just get out of the house and go play because they understand it. And that's where the 21 years of experience have made it easy for me to say, I know how to get this person to understand this concept. Um, so the serve and serve return that you've always been wanting is one click away. Go to www.dynamictapetest.com and start getting better today.